morning. Is she ready to get up? Bless you. Bless you. so much. You're kicking so much. You're kicking so much. If you haven't guessed what today is, it's uh, today's vlog is about day at home with dad. Uh, if you don't, if you don't follow, uh, and this is your first time watching, then you probably don't know that I'm the stay at home dad right now. Uh, it's been enjoyable. I was gonna do my first day at home uh, vlog video, but it was just a little bit too much. There was a little bit of a learning curve for me. You know, uh, I had a little bit of a rough time with it. Uh, I enjoy my morning sleep, and I've just now got this little one to on my schedule. <laughs> yeah, I know that they say that they can you conform to their schedule, that which is true. I will say that that is true in a lot of aspects. But we have kind of pushed it where she'll sleep a little bit longer in the morning. Which I know that won't last forever, but it's been kind of nice not getting up, you know, at 6 o'clock in the morning when all they're going to do is go back to sleep. But she's been able to sleep through it till at least 10 sometimes, so I'm like, oh man, that's great. Because sometimes we have rough nights where she doesn't want to go to sleep. <laughs> and so I, you kind of need that, that extra, just a little bit. So, she's having her morning bottle, and I kind of know she kind of got a scratch on her nose this morning. She, she must have, have scratched herself on her fingernails. And I've cut her fingernails once, and I cut every one of them, and then at the very end, I cut just a little bit too much, and I got the end of her finger, and she was really upset with it, and I didn't like it, so... I'm probably not going to do that again. Um, we use regular fingernail clippers that were with a baby kit. So they were much smaller and they were real sharp and new. So it was real easy just to, to nick her by accident. So um, I'm going to try something different that someone recommended to me. was to use like the little paring scissors and, and to kind of just cut this a little bit off that way you kind of gauge how far deep you are in there because with the fingernail clippers I couldn't really gauge how far I was I mean their fingernails are long but they're not that long and they're just long enough to be sharp and just past the finger um, 
which doesn't really bother me to scratch me. You know, everybody's like, oh my gosh, like raptor claws, which that doesn't bother me. But I can kind of see that she's kind of a menace to herself sometimes. So we're going to have a good day, aren't we, Emma? We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a fun day with Daddy. Normally she drinks about three or four ounces in the morning, and I can make that last much longer throughout the day. Usually within three hours, she's ready for another one. But we'll see about this one. Sometimes she lasts longer, sometimes she doesn't. So we'll see. When you saw me put the the nipple onto the bottle, uh, you saw that there was a bunch of air that filled up in the bag. Well, I had to take it back off and pull the air out of it. It works best if you have little air as possible. And she doesn't really suck down as much air. So, <laughs> it's kind of hard to show that with one hand because I have to grab the bag and squeeze the air out and then use my other hand to, to pop the nipple on. So, <laughs> I can't really show you that very well and hold this camera at the same time. But uh, Candace uses these um, kind bottles and they have three different uh, I guess you call them speeds on the nipple I mean there's there's slow and then medium and then, then fast the blue one is the medium one I tried the green one at first which is the slow one and that one just took forever she would like fall asleep halfway through because it was just so exhausting but uh, this one was about just enough speed I mean, I didn't have to worry about too much air. She burps pretty easily, so, uh, usually. And, I mean, it's almost immediately when she burps, so I don't really have to worry about too much gas. But these, these kind bags are pretty nice. I think they come in 6 ounce and in 8 ounce. Cash is just pumps directly into them, and then she just labels how much is in there. And I kind of gauge how much she needs. But this isn't all we have. I mean, we have two bottom drawers that are super full. So, we've got plenty of options. I know that they, there's probably not as much nutrients in them once you freeze them. Uh, but Candace does feed her during when she's here. So, she gets, you know, two or three times a day where it's not frozen. So, we don't have to worry about that too much. This is pretty much our routine right here. We wake up in the morning and we just play on our little piano. We play on our piano for a little while, don't we? Yeah. We play on our piano. So she usually plays on that piano for a good, <laughs> maybe 30 minutes, and then she gets kind of tired of it. So we have to switch around and we'll see what we, uh, what interests Katie today, huh? Someone didn't last too long on the piano. They got a little tired of it. So we're just sitting on the couch watching television. Because that's all we can do. <laughs> this baby loves to watch TV. Uh, I've never seen this in my life. She'll just stare at it. She's just staring at it. There's no sound. Just looking at the picture. <laughs> so we're gonna do this for a little bit do you feel better do you feel better little girl's a little upset aren't you and uh this one we usually go for a walk or we um <laughs> go for a stroller ride well today i don't have a stroller so we're going for a walk in this it's a little bit bright right now i usually don't do it this early but she kind of likes the heat for a little while kind of tires her out and she you know it's kind of cold in the house which to me it's super hot but to her it's kind of cool it used to be in 98 degrees all the time so so we're gonna go for a walk and uh, I need to water the lawn too, so I'm gonna shoot that real quick. All right, 
Here we go. So we've walked for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, she's done well with it so far. So I'm not really worried about being out here too long. But I do need to ask y'all's advice on something. I, uh, we have a hat that she wears, but I kind of worry about her eyes sometimes. And you know, we don't spend, we spend a good amount of time outside. And I wear sunglasses most of the time. I didn't right now just because I was lazy and didn't want to go look for them. But I usually wear sunglasses all year round just because everything seems so bright to me compared to everybody else. And I worry about that for for Emma. And I kind of wonder if there's like an option of baby sunglasses out there that are a good fit. You know, I've seen some that are just normal plastic sunglasses that are real cheap and you know, most kids don't even wear them. They'll take them right off. Or hats, they just pull them right off their head. And I wonder if there's just something out there that was just a good comfort that you found that you really like. Or if it's something that you don't think is necessary. Let me know what you think. She loves that sit me up. If she's in a sitting up mood, she loves that thing. She loves to just sit there and watch, watch people. She's a people watcher. Just like, just like her mom, I think. Her mom's kind of snoopy. She likes to watch people. <laughs> She's kind of a people watcher herself. Uh, yeah, she loves that thing. Especially if she has those toys to play with. She really loves that, uh, I don't know, it kind of crinkles. It's kind of a teether, but I don't think that's what you really call it. I'm not really sure what it's called. But it just makes crinkle noise paper, like paper. She loves to play with that thing. Just makes all kinds of noise and... Oh, I left one of the dogs on the bedroom. Yeah, she just loves that thing. It just makes all kinds of noise and she just likes to grab it. Does she like that thing? I think this is our first selfie. I don't, I don't know. I've never done a selfie with you before. You kick it away on that thing. Can says she'll be home in about 40 minutes, but I don't know if she's gonna make it to feed this little girl. I'm hoping that she does. I hope that she does. You always seem to like it better. You see that girl in there? You see that girl in there? Who is that? Who is that? Are you looking at me? 
You're looking at me, you're looking at yourself. Oh, man. That was hot, doing that little walk. It definitely got my bowels moving. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. When you exercise, uh, everything starts working. <laughs> oh, man. A little TMI. But I'm sweaty, and so was... So is Katie. Oh my gosh, she was sweating so much on me. Or heck, it could be me. I have no idea. But this is kind of our daily routine. She also loves to listen to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I just happened to come across it on YouTube one day and played it. She was glued. She, that's the only thing she'll she'll listen to. She doesn't like any other uh, lullaby. Just that one. It's crazy. She's looking up at me right now, yawning. You better stop all that yawning. You better stop all that. Hey. Oh, this hit me up is great. We, we got it for like three weeks ago, maybe four, so maybe a month ago. It could be less than that, I can't remember. Time has flown by so fast that I can't really keep up with it. But a friend from church gave us this. Um, I'm not sure the whole story of why she gave it away, but it's been kind of nice for us because we were having a hard time finding one. She already wants to sit up so much that we were like, well, you can't really find a sit me up that's perfect because she's still so little that it's not made for her size. But she sits up really good in this one. I don't have to worry too. Every once in a while she'll put her hand down and she gets a hunk underneath here and she'll reach around and she's like, I can't grab, I can't grab what I want to grab. She's not doing it right now, but she'll lean to one side <laughs> and stick her arm through that and try to grab whatever she's trying to grab through underneath. She's kicking monster right now. This is what she does. She just loves to kick. I put her on the changing table. She kicks like that. I give her a bath. She splashes water everywhere. Oh my gosh, this girl loves bath time. But she doesn't like the shampoo that we're using on her head. Every time I wash her head with it, she cries. And I, I thought, maybe am I getting in her eyes? And then so the second time I did it, I was real careful. I made sure to do it like towards the back of her head. And I think it kind of irritates her head a bit. And I'm like, I don't know if you're allergic to this or if it's just the soap is real aggressive. I don't know. But it was made for babies. Um, it was a gift for us from a, from a boutique that that this uh, girl works at, and I was like, well, I don't know what, what we should do. So we're gonna use something different to see if, if she doesn't like it again. If it's just that shampoo, or if it's, or if it's uh, just everything that irritates it, but we'll see. Bottle number two. She couldn't wait for mommy. She's crying her little head off. Give me that bottle. Give it to me. Give it to me. <sighs> so I had to give it to her. It's only one and a half ounces, so she's going to be super mad at me because I was hoping that Ken's could give her that good, good. Mm, this is not going to be enough. I know she's going to be so mad when I pull this bottle away. She's going to cry. Real tears. Not those fake ones. Not those fake ones. It's going to be real. All right, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> this is your gripe order that I'm giving her here. This is supposed to get rid of hiccups and gas. You have to give it to them really slow because one time I just shot it right in there and expected her to just swallow it. And <laughs> she choked so much on it. Barely have to give it to him. Isn't that right? And look, your hiccups are gone. Your hiccups are gone. Yay! They're gone. Yeah. 
you going? With Dad. A day at home with Dad. This is the conclusion. Mommy's made her self, made her way home. Finally. <laughs> Sun's kind of coming in a little bit there. It was a good day. She slept most of the day today. That doesn't usually happen. I think she's going through a growth spurt, so she, uh, so she was sleeping a lot more this time. So you didn't get to see her play too much. She was asleep with mom when uh, Kenneth got home, so. He's happy now, though. Yeah. He always stares at me like, oh, I missed you. <laughs> Precious, you want to say hi? Katie. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. It's been crazy for me going back to work, but I'm glad that Cody gets to stay home with the baby. And I know where she is and who she's with and all that jazz. So, <sighs> she is a growing like crazy. We'll keep you guys updated on everything. Thanks for watching. <laughs>